Hi! So, yeah, I didn't know if I should have changed or not for this since this is a two like part video and I'm just recording the intro and outro for this on the same day but you know it's a turtleneck so I didn't want to change because I it was too much for me <laughs> anyway um this is my second part of my eyebrow series I guess um it's going to be showing you how I fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia dip brow this is what I pretty much do on a regular basis like I think I use the dip brow more often than the eyeshadow but since it is that my dip brow is really old I've had it since like they even launched I think it's not as pigmented anymore and I think it is like sometimes even easier to work with I feel like I can get a much more natural product from it than I used to but that's besides the fact, I'm just letting you know that my dip brow is kind of old um, because it might be different from if you go out and purchase a dip brow on your own because it is practically like a gel liner for your eyebrows so just a warning because um, my dip brow isn't really that pigmented anymore but it's really like more natural just wanted to mention that my brows are going to be like two different colors because I filmed my brow tutorial with using the eyeshadow on the same day so the colors are different um, but I just wanted to show you what I like different ways to fill in your eyebrows um, I might be filming like uh, how I would fill in my eyebrows with a brow pencil in the future but I don't really have a brow pencil right now but that could be a future video if you uh, want me to do that then you can request it below and whenever I do get a brow pencil then I will gladly do a tutorial for you so yeah let me know and I'll just keep it in mind so whenever I get a brow pencil if I do um, then I'll definitely make a video on that I hope you enjoyed the video I'm just using just this angled brush from Anastasia it's the number 12 it's this one the angled brush with the spoolie at the end and I'm just gonna start off by brushing my brow hairs into place and as you can see, I kind of trimmed and trained my eyebrows to be the shape that I want them to be, basically. So I'm going to start off and take the product and I'm just going to run my, like, press the brush back and forth and kind of coat both sides. So when you have a new dip brow, it's a little bit different. It's practically like a gel liner, so you want to be more careful with it. It's really pigmented so I suggest you run it back and forth on the back of your hand and use a really light hand with it because it can be like really really dark when you first get it so I'm just starting right here at the bottom and I'm mapping out the bottom of my brow just like I did on this side and I have to basically match up the bottom points And for the dip brow, I feel like you need to run it through like your entire brow where the skin or at least like touch the skin with it because it is, I don't know, since it's a cream type product and because um, it's so pigmented, you might not want to go through all of your hairs but it's really obvious at least in my opinion when you only fill in like where you don't have hairs and then you see it the only thing is that you have to be like super light handed because you don't want to put like the same amount of product throughout your brow and then it's going to be like super obvious where you don't have hairs like as you can see right here I just put like a light layer right in this part but you can see that right here I don't have hairs and right here I don't have hairs because it's a lot lighter but I'm only putting a light layer and then I'm gonna go back and put like a darker or another layer on top of where I don't have hairs so it looks more like seamless you want to work a little bit faster with dip brow because it does set and then it's not as easy to move around and stuff now I'm just gonna extend that line
And then I'm gonna like look to the side to make sure that it's all straight. And then I'm seeing that this is like going upwards, so I'm gonna bring that straight out instead of upwards. I'm not even going like back into the hairs because I really hate it when it has like bald spots I like to say like where you didn't get that product Then I'm going back and brushing it back into place So now, as you can see, I basically have like an even layer of the dip brow all throughout my brow. But now you can see that right here, it's obvious that I don't have hair and right here as well. So that's why it's important that you put more product right here and right here or especially on the places that you don't have hair is because it's really obvious as you can tell from here. Like you filled in your eyebrow, but it's still like obvious where you don't have hair. So it's kind of counterproductive. Like I'm actually grabbing like quite a bit of product but it is drier so it's not as creamy and it's not like as scary to work with I would say. So I'm going back in where I don't have hairs or where my hairs are the sparsest and I'm going to fill those in more. And with Dipro or any thing in general, you want to make sure that like you're building up instead of putting too much and trying to like erase it. Just because it's really hard and time consuming to kind of work that way. Like it'll take you so much longer to try and erase like too much product or extra product that you put on by accident than it is to just kind of build up slowly. I don't know if you can tell but already it looks more seamless and like just uniform than before because I put on more product where I don't have hair. And with dip brow, I feel like it's like, it kind of gets crusty in your eyebrow because um, it's like a gel product or pomade. Um, so it actually like, you can see when the product builds up because it has like its own texture because it's not as thin. It's like a pretty thick texture, especially when it's like a little bit older. So. You want to make sure that you comb through your brows a lot if yours is like old like mine. Honestly, I think the best spoolie that I've ever used was um, the one that comes with the Brow Wiz, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's like really thin and soft, but not too soft. So like you can really comb your eyebrow hairs out and like get onto the skin and blend your product into your skin. So even though my like Brow Wiz is all used up, I still keep 
the little packaging because I like the spoolie. Okay, so I basically am finished with my brows. This is what they look like. Again, this one is with the Pony Mimi Box Brown Eyeshadow and this is with the Anastasia Dip Brow. Okay, so that's basically how I fill in my eyebrows with the dip brow. Sometimes I do use clear brow gel, but it's not like a regular thing for me because I don't feel like I have found one that really does anything too dramatic or anything. I hope you all enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!